Okay, so this week in the workshop, we've got Terry Grant's Pro 2 truck back. Um, yeah, we're gonna do some more work on this. We've got to change the gearbox in it because it's actually got the gearbox from my monster truck, well, one of my spare gearboxes for my monster truck because um, we broke that. Um, also, we're gonna change the way the exhaust system finishes in it. Uh, at the moment, the exhaust system finishes, it comes out just down under there and the fumes actually will come back into the cab. So either we're gonna make the exhaust exit near the back or even might exit it out the side here. Um, also, I've already started doing this. Um, we're changing the way where the, the changing the type of the seat, but I don't think they're going to be changing it with the one we've got here. So we've got this really nice seat um, that one of Terry's sponsors uh, sent down. Um, it's a bit too big for the truck. The truck looks massive, but it's so small on the inside. So yeah, so the main problem is, is how wide the seat is at the top where your head restraints are. Now at the moment, it's right up on the side of the roll cage. Um, and it's actually, well, I've pushed it back behind the firewall and the seat is even closer to the steering wheel. And that's what we was trying to change. We was trying to change how close we were to the steering wheel. And the main difference between this seat and the one we've taken out is the gap between where your head is. This one is really, really just a little bit bigger than your helmet. And this one is huge. And that's why we're having the problem. And that's why it's actually bringing the chair, the seat further forward. So I'm going to put this one back in and see if I can adjust it a little bit better to actually get it back a little bit further in the truck. Um, got loads of little other jobs that we've got to do with it. We're changing the battery. So I've already taken the batteries out, one of the batteries out. Um, so I've got them on order. They should be in today, believe it or not. I only ordered them yesterday. Um, getting new prop shafts made. Um, got to pull some of the half shafts out because we want to get some new diffs made. And uh, just little bits on the truck to make it easier to work on. Lifting it up now so we can get some wheels underneath it. So we need to get it a little bit hard just to get a bit more room to get the, the gearbox out. So I've got my gantry and we just put it onto the front of it and lifted it up. Now we're gonna let it back down now onto the wheels and then we can safely work underneath it. Okay, so the truck is fairly taken apart now. Um, as you can see, it's quite high off the ground, so we've got it stuck up on tires. Um, so we've got a lot of room underneath it. And the reason we did that, because this is where the engine is and where this big hole is, that's where the gearbox is. So we've actually got a winch that we winch it down through the floor and then drop it out the bottom. It just makes it a lot easier. If it starts out a little bit higher off the ground, it would come out if it was on the, on the ground, but then there's no room for you as well. So we're catching the last little bit of oil there. So the gearbox that came out, it is sat down there. So then we've got the rebuilt one. Um, I'll put a picture of the bit that it broke. It's quite, quite obvious which bit broke in it. Yeah, um, so Zane Tech repaired that one. So just gonna start loading it back in now. Okay, so the gearbox is in, come and have a look. So this is what it looks like. This is why we put the winch at the top. So this is how we get it in there. So if you can see now, the gearbox, we've lifted it up. You have to be careful because the exhaust system's in there. Um, but yeah, so it's all in. We've just got to put a few more bolts in it, put all the um, oil coolers back onto it. Um, and of course, do all the torque converter bolts out because it's literally it's got four bolts holding it in there, but it's got two bolts in at the front and two bolts in at the rear. So now we can disconnect the winch and then start getting everything ready on the truck. So I'm pulling the half shaft out. Um, There we go, there's a the half shaft. And we've got to measure what spline this is on the end. Okay, so the gearbox is in. George is sat in the driver's seat. Um, yeah, so everything's in. The only thing we haven't got on is the, uh, the prop shaft. I've sent the prop shaft away, the charge prop shafts. They're the guys who do my prop shafts in Bristol. Um, there was a little bit of play in it also. It lost a balance weight, so it's it slightly out of balance. Um, so yeah, so this is what it it looks like in here. This is the exhaust system where we're going to change. So that's the end of the exhaust. It normally has a, a turn down cap. We're actually going to extend it back further 
So that's the end of it there. So it comes, we're gonna bring it back. And if you see, this is where the bedside mounts on. So we're actually gonna have an exhaust coming out here just before the wheel. It's quite hard for me to film it because I've actually got the, it's still on its crane and everything. So it's still up in the air, um, just so we can walk underneath it. So let so I'm gonna go round. George is gonna sit in there and he's gonna go through the gears and we're gonna adjust the gears. So I'm gonna try and film this as I do it. So at the moment, this is what selects the gears on this on this gearbox. So at the moment we're in park. So George, if you pull it through, so let's move this cap, um, light a little bit. Side. Right, so if you put it into reverse now, George. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's reverse. We pull this out and we don't want this to move. So that was not too bad, right? Go to neutral. The neutral. So that's neutral. You see that actually moved then. So right, let's go into first gear. Simple. You don't want that to move. So that we got to adjust that. So let's go one turn back. Okay, All right, so now go into second. In second. It's, right, it's still moving on, still not happy with this. I'll go third. One third. Yeah, so let's go one more. All right, go into second. In second. That's good, That's this is not moving at all. When I've been taking it off before, I can feel it jumping forwards a little bit. So it's like selecting half a gear. Um, do it go first gear. Super. That's perfect. Um, neutral. In neutral. That's good. And reverse. In reverse. That's perfect. And park. In park. That's it, no, no movement at all. So that's how you adjust it. So you have to adjust this. So you keep pulling this little pin, this arm off. If this pin moves, you know you haven't got the gear set right. So then all I have to do now is do up that jam nut and that's it set. <laughs> no, we're sheltering, we got hailstones coming in. It's mental the weather today. It's just stopped again. But yeah, so we're working on Terry Grant's trucks, uh, we've done loads to it since last time I filled. Um, yeah, so got a new, another different braking system in it now. So we've got another one there. So at the moment, we're just putting in another another drift brake or another handbrake in, into here. So we're just mocking it up at the moment. So George is in there. So this one's gonna go, gonna weld it into the dashboard about down there somewhere but we're making sure we can still get to the fire extinguisher system still get to the battery on and off um, yeah since we last done a filming um, it's got a completely new fire extinguisher system in it um, so we've got loads of nozzles absolutely everywhere been moving bits around on the truck so we're going to put we're moving these accumulators up into here so we can service them a lot quicker um, Redone all this, how the, the steering up, so I've, I haven't painted it yet. So we've made this new bracket up for the steering because the steering kept on losing power. Um, it's got a new starter motor in it. We're playing around with the exhaust system. So the exhaust system's a part of the moment. The gearbox is in. Um, just waiting on the prop shaft to come back. So I'll, I'll show you what went wrong with the prop shaft yesterday. So yeah, so that's a way of getting done. So yeah, so we've got new fire extinguishers and nozzles all over there. Got a real big cylinder in the back. Yeah, we've been doing loads of work to it. So yeah, making it easier to work on. So we've moved the accumulators. The accumulators for the shock absorbers used to be in here. It's really hard to get hold of. So they're, they're up here on the tops now, so we can get to them easier. Um, yeah, just doing loads of little improvements on the truck fitting a new prop shaft on so we got the one repaired and I noticed that the new one is slightly different if you look down in here when it's on maximum articulation it actually binds out so it actually stops it so I'm gonna have to take it back to the prop shaft shop I use they normally don't make a mistake I just wanted to check it before we actually fit this thing so yeah so it's right up in the air 
when it's on maximum articulation at the back, it does bind down. I'm sat in the truck at the moment, so that's where the handbrake is, and it's so it's a nice distance. You just grab like that, so you don't catch your hand on the fire extinguisher. You can still get to the battery isolator there. I haven't moved the instrument panel yet. I don't really know where I'm going to put it for you, to tell the truth, because even if I move it over to here, I don't think you're going to see it work very well, unless I actually bring it down, because you is it this. Is it this peak, this, this steering wheel that's in the way? If I brought it down and put it a lot lower, do you reckon that would be better? Um, let us know what you think. Okay, so we're in the workshop. Look how empty it is when you actually take the trailer out. So we're actually ready to go to the stunt fest, but we've had a problem this morning. So my wife, Claire, she broke her tooth, so she's had to get an emergency appointment at the dentist. So we're having to wait for her, aren't we, Georgie? Yeah. Yeah, so... Yeah, so We've got, we've got the lorry out, we've got it in the lay-by outside, and we're just waiting for Claire to come back. Hopefully her tooth's not gonna to be too painful for the weekend because it's gonna be a busy one. Okay, so we're well on the way to get the Santa pump. Had a bit of an amusement on the way here, so we had to fill up with diesel. Uh, we go to a BP garage just off the motorway. Um, now in the UK, you have to do a taco break, which every, all the lorry drivers have to do, and yeah, you have to stop for 45 minutes. The idea when you stop for 45 minutes is you're actually meant to stop in a place where you don't block the road or even allowed to park. So one of these lorries decided he was going to park in the petrol station in a yellow box junction. The yellow box junctions you're not allowed to stop in. He stopped in it for 45 minutes. We couldn't get in to fill up at the pump. Um, jammed up the complete garage. Have a look at this. So yeah, so we, we can't get round because of the, my trailer so long at the back. So it, was, it hit his lorry. Um, couldn't go any further. We started backing it up onto the onto the dual carriageway, and and he still wouldn't move. So we actually had to sit there for 20 minutes um, to fill up in, in the petrol station. Even the people at the BP station would come out and look. Like, come on, mate, you're not meant to park here. He goes, no, I can't, I can't move on my taco break. So that was a little bit of fun on the way up. But the traffic isn't that actually been that bad today. It's half term, so and uh, the time now is just coming up to half past two. So we should be at Santa Pop within an hour now, because it's, it's roughly three hours from our house uh, for the workshop to get there. So look at the traffic, there's hardly any traffic on the road, especially this is being a Friday, so yeah. And then, then we're gonna get the truck out then, and then we can actually um, build the truck up tonight and do all our safety checks on it tonight, ready for the show. And of course, we got pit party first thing in the morning. So we'll see you at pit party. Okay, so it's now first thing in the morning. What I'm doing now is actually inflating the monster truck tyres. I use the compressor on the lorry um, to run an airline out to inflate the tyres. It's taken a while because these tyres haven't been in re-inflated for a while. So, so most of them are about, about 8 psi and I normally run them at 18 psi. And it normally takes about 10 minutes per tyre to inflate. So then we move on to the pit party. I'm having to dumb this bit because the wind, actually if you was if you was there, you'd know how bad the wind was. That's why they have those big wind turbines in the back. Santa Pod is uh, an old aircraft field, uh, an airfield um, using the war. And of course it's on a very, very flat piece of ground. So the wind does whistle across there. So that is why I'm having to dub this part of the video.
Okay, so we're back from a very, very windy stunt fest. Now, didn't film it. We have got a problem with the truck that we've got to look into. For some reason, um, I think when I broke the half shaft in the show, um, what sometimes happens, it sends a shock load back through the diff and it quite often, it breaks the, the, the locker that's in the diff. And for some reason, when I went to go and load it in, it's it's basically front wheel drive so what i think it's done is it's, it's the locker's letting go and it's just letting get no power get out to the wheels um so that's one thing we're gonna have to have a look at um but yes yeah, show went really good apart from apart from breaking the half shaft um but yeah thank you all for coming to the show um i hope you enjoyed this video i'm gonna have to dub some of it because the wind was so bad and it's gonna come out terrible on the microphone um, but don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next time. Bye-bye. Okay, so I'm just editing the video up, and I've got to let you know, things aren't the same anymore um, down the workshop. Um, um, I know a lot of you think a lot of my dog, Shadow, but Shadow has been ill for quite a while, and it's sad to me to say that she's passed away. Um, the tumour that she had was got so big she couldn't couldn't cope with it anymore and we had to let her go. But I know a lot of you thought a lot of Shadow uh, about the videos. They want people want me to do a video about her. Um, but yeah, so, so here's a little tribute to my dog. Should we go home and get some food? Yeah, she likes the sound of that. Not sad, like. Look, look how close they come. There you go, stay still. Stay still. There you go. There you go. Good girl.